guys welcome back to another video you've been seeing me in this same so sorry about the flickering light my lamp is not enough light to light up me in this video hopefully gonna be the only clip like this but i wanted to intro this video because this will be day one um so i want to combine two videos i want to do a seven books in seven days but then i also want to get through my currently reading because currently my currently reading is 26. let's just say it hasn't fully recovered from me doing a book every day for a month video the book that i'm going to be attempting to finish tonight is the two lives of lydia bird now i read most of this yesterday started it months back but i read a significant chunk of it yesterday and what i literally mean by that is i read from page 125 to 292 so like i said i read a significant amount of the book and i think i have 70 pages to go yeah so there's 365 pages so yeah i've got about 70 pages to go or 73 if you really want to be specific to go so that's what an hour and a half of reading it is currently oh i can't see my clock and i can't see anything at this point um but i can obviously see stuff it's currently almost half eight so hour and a half of reading would take me to like 10 o'clock ish um so that's feasible basically i've got a lot of books that i'm kind of i've started like there's the odd one that's like 70 pages in so i obviously i've because i've started that and if i can do that i'd get through a good portion because although i'll be starting new books this month i do still want to get through some of my tbr um I think I might want to get through like a book on my Kindle as well just because I do have a lot on my Kindle um and some where they're like Kindle Unlimited and so I want to be able to like return them to like read new books. I'm really enjoying this so far. Um would definitely recommend. Although I've not read If He Had Been With Me, the fact like the kind of an emotional reaction kind of gives me like that. Like I did get teary yesterday. Um I do think this is probably going to end up being like a good four star read um the reason why it's lowered is because of the lack of reading that i've done rather than like the actual book itself um and how long it took me i think it's just i haven't read it as quickly because of sheer overwhelm for the amount of books um also it's floppy and it does have its flop in like in the middle as well um as well as the end this is by josie silver i don't know where i picked this book up from no okay i do i picked this up from tk maxx because of the sticker on the back um and that's very much a tk maxx sticker i don't know where i bought it from well i don't know when i purchased it should i say it must have been a good two years ago year or two i must have had my car so yeah it is almost two years ago oh my god but let's get reading this i'll keep you updated um and let's see what books we get through for this next week okay so it's now half nine i don't know what the last time i said when i was talking to you if i said that i was gonna finish it at what half ten no it was half nine um i could have said half nine i don't know anyway i finished the two lives of lydia but um i wrote this four stars as i said i would um i did enjoy this it was some nice moments right at the end lydia was very slightly annoying very slightly but i still enjoyed it there were still really sweet moments and i would still recommend i quoted two things i can't remember what the first one is but the second one is the thing about losing the love of your life is that you get to make up what would have happened afterward you're entitled to dream that all of your tomorrows would have been perfect because you loved him so much you're allowed to flex and bend every situation in your head so he'd say and do all of the right things your love story never really ends because your brain paints him into every photograph and he's there beside you on all of your special days. He doesn't argue with you or fall short of your expectations. He doesn't make questionable decisions and he absolutely categorically never runs out on you halfway through your honeymoon. That's just to do with the like asleep side of things. Actually that might have been the first one. Because I'm actually... I don't know um but yeah it was really beautiful really heartwarming i would definitely recommend this book 
I don't think it would be for everyone though, just because some people could find Lydia annoying and not really kind of enjoy the whole like love story side of things. And I'm glad I read this. Also, I realised that actually my currently reading was like 27 because I was because I was technically reading Ninth House and hadn't added it to my currently reading. So um, I have now done that. So now my currently reading is down to 26. The, I don't know what physical book I want to read next. I do have the short story for Heart of a Soul um, on my Kindle because it's right at the end of the ebook version, but actually it's separate. So I edit it as separate things because obviously Goodreads Girl and everything. It's called The Lord Sorcerer and it's like an hour long and so I've got that as a separate thing so I could read that tonight. I, oh god. The in terms of physical books that I could read I've got The Devil's Apprentice. Oh my god. I've got Devil's Breath by Jill Johnson. Um, This is a book that I'm currently 70 pages in um, and it's less than 300 yeah 291 pages so i'm close to a third i think i'm actually at 26 percent of the way through um according to goodreads um i just get a new bookmark i don't think i showed you um it's got like mushrooms on and it just says grow your own way but i thought it would be like the perfect thing for like a fantasy book i do have a bookmark in this that definitely doesn't in this next book that definitely doesn't suit it but i have reckless i am um, i think it's I think I'm now 56% of the way through and the bookmark that I have in it is literally this. I do want to expand my bookmark collection so I could go with both of those. In terms of Reckless, how many pages do I have left? I have 160 pages to go um, and then in this book I have 220 in this. So this one would be quicker for me to get through. I'm kind of scared to finish it though because I know full well that it's going to only be like a four stars because it is definitely like a filler filler book where there's not a lot going on. I do still enjoy it and like the vibes and everything are beautiful and I do love the characters and I definitely do from what I've read so far I'm definitely excited for the final book because that is gonna be epic i just hope that the final book is like 500 600 words because if it's anything shorter like if it's the same length as what powerless is then fine you can get away with it but if it's anything less if it's this size there's just not enough it's gonna be lacking but i have a feeling it could also potentially be like 700 words because there's probably gonna be too much banter between the characters i don't know um, I haven't yet got to the point of guessing what the ending is going to be because I've seen Rachel, I've seen Sophie, they've all said that they've like guessed the ending um, and I haven't. I do know that Destiny rated this like a two and a half um, which is very valid, I can understand that. I do think it, there should be more for a filler book. We can understand having like a slightly slower pace bullets yeah but i think my rating will be higher based on the fact that i do love payden and kai as a lot of people do um sorry i'm literally just staring at a mark in my wall from where my bed was changed okay so it's now currently like half currently 10 to 11 at night on day two um or tuesday um i did read devil's breath i have not finished it um i'm rating it three stars it was okay but also it kind of didn't feel special felt a little bit lackluster the main character kind of felt obsessive is probably the only way i can describe it i just it didn't gel well with me and it didn't feel like a lot happened like i feel like there should have been a little more stakes and like everything when it was happening was kind of in the last like 30 pages so like the last like 10 percent and yeah so not a bad book i definitely think people would enjoy it but only a three stars for me 
um, and if I was the type of person that was into DNFing, I could have potentially DNFed it towards the start, but I gave it three stars because it did still captivate me enough to want to know what happened. I just didn't care too much about a book. Um, I did, so although I didn't finish any other book, um, that wasn't the only book that I read today. I also read The Spare Room by Laura Starkey. I went from having read, I want to say like 10% or something, to now having read like 45, which is obviously quite a big portion. Um, because my sister wanted to go to this bounce thing, so we went there, I took my Kindle, I read, I got through like a good portion of the book. I've got like two and a half hours left of it apparently so maybe I don't tomorrow my physical book could be reckless or it might be um assistant to the villain um I don't know I might also still work on this um and read some of this um I did do it where this morning um, so the reason why I was able to get through this is because I read for a good hour and a half this morning and got through a good 110 pages, um, literally going from 25% to like 60%, um, which was obviously really good. Otherwise I probably, otherwise I would not have finished this today because I don't really do any like casual reading as much during the day. I'm not bad for it, but. I don't, I definitely won't be like keeping a hold on it, um, this will be one that's easy to, um, donate. So it's currently just before 10 o'clock on Wednesday, so day three, I have finished Reckless. I rated this as a 3.75, I put it as a 4 on Goodreads, obviously. It was alright, um, I think the first third to half was really strong and I really enjoyed it and the plot was good but then it kind of dragged on their journey home and could have been shorter. I personally didn't pick up properly on the ending although when looking at how far I had left I did read the second to last line um, and realised so it will be interesting to see what happens in book three based off of that because I'm sorry but their end game surely like Kai and Payton so surely but I know that I have to wait till April which is so long away so so long um third book finished I didn't read anything else today um I still got the spare room um that I could read Maybe I'll read that tomorrow. Um, I haven't read any other physical book. But I do think the next one that I want to, next physical book that I want to continue on with is the um, Assistant to the Villain. Um, I do think that's the next one. I'm kind of in the mood for that. That's day three. All nice and sorted and wrapped up and everything. It is now Thursday at half like half nine is it half nine absolutely it is i have not finished the spare room by laura starkey i'm kind of torn in terms of rating somewhere between a three and a half and four i don't necessarily know whether it's like a 3.75 might be more like a 3.5 i have rated it a four on goodreads though um i just think it's really nice and sweet and i just think it deserves more like a four on Goodreads. There's kind of nothing more I can say about it. It was just a nice kind of sweet closed door spice. Like it was kind of off the page. Some mentions of kisses but no actual like spice scenes. Um, So it's quite nice. Short. It's like three. On Kindle it was like 360 or like 380. I think in reality it's like 360 um so it's not too bad it might even be less um but it was nice i enjoyed the main i enjoyed the male character like the main male character he was sweet he's one of the like quieter types 
I liked the like little bits of like poetry he was saying um I enjoyed her journey and like her character arc and her growing kind of into herself and who she is after kind of having been downtrodden by multiple people and ultimately it was just a really really nice thing to read I'm not making it seem exciting am I Jesus Christ this I got it through Amazon Prime I don't know whether it's still on there it must be for the fact that it's still in my thing so it might be on Prime or it might have moved over to Kindle Unlimited I would definitely still recommend um as like a nice sweet one and it's a slow burn it's kind of it's more like friends to lovers but not in the in the sense of like they become friends like like they say they're friends uh, but there's like feelings it's only single POV POV well it's single single uh, single point of view in third person I don't mind reading in third person um I'm like fine with it I know that some people don't um but yeah that is another one down also I'm glad to have got like a kindle one down because then that way my kindle isn't necessarily all like my currently reading isn't like at the end of the week my currently reading won't necessarily be majority kindle instead of like physical because currently it's quite an even mix so it's probably slightly more on here though don't i did earlier read 10 pages of assistant to the villain i think because there's smaller text i think i was struggling like those 10 pages was like two chapters so like it's shorter chapters now um and we've got to the point of the limit of eliminating one person as a potential for like this conspiracy that's mentioned in the back um yeah be excited i think i might work on this one or i could work on inca and crown um which turns out i'm not even connected to this wife on my kindle i will um Inca and crown which i'm 51 percent of the way through i've also got the simple wild that i'm 30 percent of the way through so i could read that but i do know that there's like bigger chapters um but then i have is trying to work out what do i actually have on my currently reading i have got ninth house that i could work through a bit more on here or oh, another one i've got on prime reading is cornish country hospital or i've got unexpectedly ruined which i think is like a fantasy or something and then i've got a the devil's sea by clive castler um i don't know what i fancy i'm reading do i make a start on one of the ones that i'm less of the way through how long have i got on inca and crown because i've also got like two percent into impossible creatures <sighs> how long does it say i've got i've still got three and a half hours left in the book so if i was to make some leeway on it tonight i could get further of the way through or i don't know how far into this i am um i don't know how much the 10 pages would have added i think i was still only like 25 percent of the way through and I do kind of want to get through another physical book because I do still have quite a few physical books on my list and I don't think any of my any of the books that are on my TBR this month are on Kindle so would be all physical books it's trying to find a balance um I think for me <clears throat> I have got where the crawdads sing on um kindle as well and i know that the book of beginnings has just come on kindle unlimited so you know what maybe i will work through this one um and we'll see how far i get through it um and then i can use like Inca and crown as like my backup as like my kindle read because i don't necessarily mind having books where it's like i've got both versions because then that way i can flick between the two Inca and crown is a fantasy um there is romance elements of it but it's not like the main like point there is multiple povs which i do sometimes find it s slightly difficult to distinguish between but basically it's following 
there's magic in this and basically the princess in this kingdom is going to be married to someone from another kingdom and so the guild um, is being allowed to explore like the mountains. Probably continue on with this as like a nice little physical book. But again, I've always thought this was an opportunity. But that is a book finished on day four. So another little success. So, and it's now the end of Friday. I have finished Assistant to the Villain. I'm rating this a three and a half. I did a four, rated it on four, uh, rated it a four on Goodreads. Um, I just, I enjoyed it, but also because of the bigger text, or well, not bigger text, the smaller text, like that text from like the first few pages, like that is small and so it just felt slightly slow, it probably took me the same amount of time to read but it just kind of felt that a little bit slower, um, I still enjoyed the story, I didn't know where it was going to go, like who the kind of traitor was going to be um, and I still didn't expect it until literally when it got revealed so that was definitely interesting um I do want to read book two I do own book two as well um so that'll be interesting to read another book down book five of five two more days to go tomorrow I might actually read Inca and Crown um because I've only got I think it's three and a half hours to go um or i could make headway on another physical book if i i don't know what book i would make progress on potentially carry by stephen king because that's quite a shorter book or i'd probably make some headway on the foxglove king with like intention to finish this one but with like getting further into it um because my thought process is, is even if i don't finish that one like tomorrow and like i finish this one at least and like i and if that's not one of the books that i finish during this week at least i would have made big like progress on it um so it'll kind of make it easier for me to want to pick up and just fly through that is day five so far and i'm obviously getting way through my currently reading because I've not added any new books I've just been reading the ones that are on my currently reading um I don't know how many is still on there technically I started at like what 27 ish and I've read five so it's currently at like 22 maybe um so my currently reading is 21 that is quite good so all my currently reading at the moment is To Sleep in a Sea of Stars, that has been on there for the longest of time, Where the Crawdads Sing, that I'm 10% of the way through, Ninth House, which again I think I'm 17 or something percent of the way through, The Atlas Six, I'm like 6% of the way through, Book of the Beginnings, I think I'm about the same amount, House of Earth and Blood, um, so Crescent City One, I think I'm... 23% of the way through. Impossible Creatures, I'm literally 2% of the way through. The Woman on the Ledge, I'm 41% of the way through, but I've left my copy of it at my Nana's. Um, Wuthering Heights, I'm like 4 or 6% of the way through. I don't have that on me. Tom Lake, I'm about 10% of the way through, um, but I was listening to that via audiobook. Daisy Heights, I don't know the percentage but I'm about 40 pages in. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, I'm probably like 10% of the way in. The Potting Shed Murder, I'm 3% of the way in. Clive Cussler's The Devil's Sea, I'm about 12% in. The Kana, I'm about 2-3% in. Welcome to the Cornish Country Hospital, I'm about 6% in. Unexpectedly Ruined, I'm about 5-ish percent in. The Simple Wild, I'm about 30% of the way in. The Fox Club King, probably 10, maybe not even that. Inca and Crown, I'm 50% of the way through. Carrie, 
I want to say I'm about a third of the way through. Um, I could be wrong about Kerry. Um, but as you can see, there's a lot of books on there. Yeah, Kerry and like 29% of the way through. So the Fox Club King, I was six. Wuthering Heights, I was six. Um, Harry Potter, I was 12. Um, yeah. So as you can see, I've not read a lot of books on here. And some of these are bigger books. Um, so Crescent City is the like 800 pages, I think mine's like 730 or something. Harry Potter, the current edition on here is like 912, like, it's def mine's definitely more like the 700 page mark, so I could be more like 15-16% of the way through. Um, I have recently downloaded that on um, Kindle though, so maybe I'll try and find my location on there. Um, probably should see about the woman on the ledge um if it's on like amazon for like cheap if not i'm going to my nana's at the weekend it's currently 99p maybe we could make my way through that tomorrow kindle price is literally 99p i'm getting it i am actually getting it that's another one we can do but yeah so that's my fifth book of the week done and dusted okay so i am delayed in filming this update because it is now like monday night um so saturday i told you i was going to read the woman on the ledge well i finished the woman on the ledge i i think i rated this like a three and a half stars it was good i enjoyed it it kind of was slower in the middle because it kind of focused on the like day-to-day -day, like lead up to what was going on and I think because I started it back up just as it started that point it did lose me a little bit but I still really enjoyed it and I would read another book from this author this is this was their debut if i'm not mistaken um but i would definitely read another one of her books um and i would recommend um i did finish this on kindle but i brought it back with me um just so i could show the physical copy then sunday i i know i said i was considering reading more of like fox Club king and then finishing it or finishing inca and crown I only actually read like a chapter more of Inca and Crown, but I did finish a book on Sunday, and that is Carrie by Stephen King. I also rated this a three and a half stars. I think on Goodreads I put this as a three, and on Goodreads I put this as a four. Um, I liked the writing style, um, like the way he actually wrote the words, like the sentences. It did kind of confused me a little because it was doing it in like little extracts um from this fictitious like books and like collating bits and how it would jump back very slightly um and also there were no chapters like there's three parts but like the first part is 130 pages and the second part is like 100 so it made it really difficult to find like stopping points like one of my like one of the places where i stopped was because one of like the new extracts started here um and so it was just easier for me to kind of pick up and continue um and yeah however i enjoyed it i definitely want to read more of his books um i do have fairy tale um so which I know is kind of more of like a fantasy type thing um in terms of horror is this classed as horror is this classed as horror I don't know I if this is horror it didn't like scare me or spook me in any way um so if you're kind of worried about reading horror and like if this is horror then I know that the movie is classed as horror I think um this 
it's an area tool so i would highly recommend in terms of that reason and then also it is short so it was 240 something pages so again highly short um i do wonder whether another version of the book actually had the extracts like the excerpts of these fictitious like books on like separate pages um and if it did i would definitely have kind of got on better with that i'd pick this up from tesco so yeah um and i haven't read it all today i know that i already completed the seven days but i thought i'd say that um although i did buy daydream by hannah grace and i did also get I got Just for the Summer by Abby Jimenez. I don't have um, Yours Truly, but because Just for the Summer was like £3, I was like, you know what, I'm going to get it because it's going to work out cheaper for me in the long run. So I do need to pick up Yours Truly. Um, I did bring back more books with me. Um, so I've got more of a range to pick from. When I come to do TBRs and videos and all of that good stuff. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what other videos you want to see from me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.